Hi YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to create a 3D Google Cardboard environment from Typhoon H Panorama Photos. The prerequisites for this project are Typhoon H Panorama Photos of course, Microsoft Image Composite Editor, Photosphere XMP Tagger, and lastly the Google Cardboard app to view the finished product. All of these will have free links in the description. Let's get started by opening up the Image Composite Editor app. Click on New Panorama from Images. And now we'll browse for our saved Typhoon H Panorama images. You can go to My Computer and then click on your SD card. Now click on DCIM. Click on 100 Media and select just the pictures from your panorama only one panorama and it will import them and you can see them all here and now change the camera motion drop down from auto detect to rotating motion click on the structured panorama drop down and now change the number of columns from 2 to 8 set the angular range as 360 degrees horizontally and make sure it's set to serpentine on the image order. Under the overlap settings change horizontal to 10%, change vertical to 1%, change 360 seam to 10% and then set the search radius at 100%. Now click on next and it'll take a minute to load and it'll stitch all these images together. Now it's stitched, you can uh, move it around to preview it, but the only setting we really need to change in this screen is the projection should be changed from cylindrical to spherical. Alright, you can go ahead and click next now, and it'll present you with another loading screen. There's nothing we really need to change here. We don't want to crop it, so just click next. And now the final screen, export. You can choose your desired quality options. When you have your desired settings, you can go ahead and click export to disk. And then you can just save it wherever you like. I'll just save it onto my SD card for now. Be sure to change the name to PANO underscore one in all caps. So it should be PANO underscore one JPEG. Now you'll want to connect your phone to your computer and we'll want to open up two windows like this. You can do this by uh, going to the start menu and then my computer and that will open up a window like this. Navigate to your SD card or wherever you saved your panorama. Navigate to your phone and then to the internal storage and then open up the DCIM folder and then inside there open up the cardboard camera folder now drag and drop your panorama image into your phone folder at this point you want to safely disconnect your phone these instructions are for a Galaxy S5 but should be similar for any Android system so first you want to go into your apps, select your file navigator, and go into the internal device storage. Navigate to the DCIM folder. Open the cardboard camera folder. Long tap on your panorama image. Click on the share function at the top of the screen. Select the picture of the map that says Add Tag. At this point it should process your image and it will say finished when it has been completed successfully. Alternatively, if you don't have a file explorer, you could also find your images using the Gallery app and do the same process. Now for the best part, open up the Cardboard app, select Cardboard Demos, 
When it loads, navigate to the Photosphere app. Now we can view our panorama. As you can tell, it looks pretty good. I don't even see any noticeable seams. I'd like to thank everyone for watching, and I hope this video helps you out and you get some fun out of it.